Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocker from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be talking about if Terra Luna is dead. In this video, I'll quickly review what actually happened with the Luna USD crash. I highly recommend you go watch this video. I explain in detail how things played out from start to finish. More importantly, how we traded this as well to protect our wealth. If you watch this Rockstar Trading Channel, the first thing I talk about is protecting your wealth. We shared the exit signal for Luna around $45. Go watch this video. I explain everything in that video in this video i'll start off by briefly explaining to you what happened then guys i'll talk about what duquan is saying so he is the founder of luna so he has been updating us past few days so i'll talk about what his thoughts are i'll go through different proposals so terra luna whatever you say it had some amazing community members amazing bu amazing builders still in the project so i'll talk about the different proposals to take luna forward and then finally guys i'll summarize my thoughts on it share with you how what my thoughts are on this project going forward i've posted some updates on twitter i'll summarize at the end of the video and if you're still holding luna or you know you're still holding usc make sure you watch this video till the end and i will be doing another live stream this sunday you can ask me questions about that as well on the live stream so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button and if this type of video does help you out do hit that like button guys it doesn't cost you anything and it really helps us out so without further ado guys let's get into the video so what happened was that Luna USD peg broke. So if you understand how the Luna USD work, you had to burn Luna to mint USD. And when you had huge bad for USD, the USD market cap is going up and you're burning Luna, the Luna supply drops. And you know, if the demand for Luna is still high, the price of Luna goes absolutely parabolic. And that's what happened. But what happened on this date was um the ust peg broke and uh, there was some big money there was a design flaw with the project again which unless you're a designer or a, or a very smart economic or finance model analyst it's very difficult to understand this we all trusted what duquan was saying and i i had my money in anchor protocol and you know i've made videos on it i used to hold luna one of you know luna has made me more money recently than any other coin you know being involved with luna since less than five dollars but there's an issue with the uh, uh, with the model and big players with a lot of money can basically start dumping ust and dpeg it and once the dpeg happens it goes into a negative spiral i have talked about that uh, negative spiral and i said uh, duquan was trying to buy bitcoin to, to somewhat collateralize it so if, if this type of stuff happened they could buy back using the bitcoin but these big players there's rumors like it was citadel or someone go watch the other video talk about all of that and it, they just literally ruined the project and once usd starts dropping you mint more luna to try and protect the peg and what happens if you keep minting luna you get this type of drop and um, again go watch the video talk about the increase in supply i think they minted more luna in one day than they minted in like ever so it was absolutely ridiculous it was a crazy time and one of the craziest times of my life in, in just being involved with crypto so the price stabilization mechanism absorbing usd supply but the cost of absorbing so much stable coins at the same time has stretched out on-chain swap spread to 40 percent and lunar price has diminished dramatically absorbing the ARBs so the path forward is to absorb the stable coin supply that wants to exit before usd can start to repeg so a week ago he said he wanted to repeg usd excuse me guys sorry i've got a cold so apologies for that but i want to get this content out he is now moving away from usd so i'll come on to that but he said he wanted to protect it initially and with the current on-chain spread peg pressure usd burn the supply of overhang usd should continue to uh, decrease until parity is reached spread begin begin healing then naturally this is high cost to usd and lunar holders but we will continue to explore various options he was still believing in, and this is something that i don't like there's rumors that he could go to jail and one thing i, I don't think he had bad intentions but what i think he did bad is he didn't communicate well he, he didn't come out and say look there's an issue with it he just kept trying to back it and people kept holding and have been really been burnt so terrorist focus has always orientated itself around long-term horizon another setback this may similar to last year i don't think this is similar to last year this has just showed you how you know the model is completely wrong so going forward guys i mean in my opinion i'll, I'll share with you my opinion at the end of the video but in my opinion there's two options really uh, to give up on ust and try to build like an l1 layer one focusing on luna and you know terra still has amazing community amazing developers and they could build onto something else in a few years and and people do have short time 
a time frame memory they'll probably forget of what happened and if lunar price starts going up i'm sure people will start fomoing and they won't care so that is one option but the other option i mean i don't think that option will work he's trying to like burn lunar and protect usc i don't think that will work i know lots of people are going for it and that will probably help lunar holders but that's the other option so uh, really the uh, lunar as we know it is dead guys and 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 i've been the biggest lunar fan but i have to say it, lunar as we know is dead and then the only way forward is um to potentially create give up on ust and create something new or come up with a completely new model so these are this is one of the suggestions currently these con these precepts underpins most school of thoughts the lunatic community is unparalleled in his passion build a talent again I've, I've talked about this at the same time however competing interests from varied stakeholders lunar holders usd holders make it very difficult and when i go through the proposals it will be very obvious it's going to be very difficult to find a way forward because you know lunar holders will say burn lunar and make lunar more higher or usd holders will say look we need to get some airdrop and i'll talk about different airdrops you could expect to get as well so what i mean the main suggestion he's saying is terra chain as it currently exists should be forked into a new chain with algorithmic stable coins called terra token uh, luna and the old chain could be called terra classic luna classic so that is what his suggestion is and i think it will get past there i mean i, I posted it yesterday looks like his suggestions have passed now and um what's stopping it now is um that he potentially and manipulated the data again i'm not going to get into rumors but there's a strong likelihood he has because most people that i know still want burn uh, rather than like forking luna but i think going forward that will have to be the way forward unfortunately and um uh, yeah we'll, we'll, i'll come back to that at the end but i think that's the, that's what it's looking like so terra 2.0 is focused on developers developers will get an immediate emergency allocation of lunar tokens to fund runway as well as pool tokens earmarked to align the interests of base layer with these builders call to action we encourage terra developers to signal support and commit to build on the fork on public chain asap so that is the suggestion and then after that lots of projects are still trying to back uh, Duquan and what Luna is trying to do so that's from his point of view let's actually look at from more like a developer point of view uh, another point I want to uh, quickly talk about is guys um, if you're still holding Luna I, I did a funny tweet and ignore most of my tweets guys apart from you know my uh, trade setups uh, most of my tweets are like fun because I've shared exact uh, you know really good analysis and no one cares on Twitter even this tweet's got only 13 likes so Anyways, one of the things I say is like someone asked me if you lose 90%, you might as well hold. But once you lost 90%, you could keep losing 90%. Luna has dropped like 10, 90% drops. So, you know, don't keep holding. I mean, I'm, I've shared my positions. I completely got out uh, out of Luna. I didn't know what was going to happen. I got out of USC. I think it was 94 cent. Um, you know, I got out when I could and I posted in the Rockstar Trading Group, guys. And, you know, I, I think we've built an amazing community. If you are interested in our community, I'll leave the links below for you to check out. You can access to our group, live stream post and trade setups, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll leave the links below if you're interested. You can try us for less than 30 bucks. So that is another uh, important point to make. So, guys, I want to start talking about the different proposals. So one of these proposals, I actually like this proposals quite a lot. So it doesn't look like the PEG stability mechanism is going to restore PEG in the short period of time. USD as a stable coin is likely to be going to be very difficult to regain trust over time. We at Terra Builders Alliance are the leading founders of building uh, builders of the Terra ecosystem that propose Terra relaunches to honor existing USD holders, loyal Luna holders and developers so this is what they said so they want to 40 percent go to lunar stakers 40 percent to ust 10 percent to uh, lunar holders and 10 percent to the ecosystem so i think that is a very good uh way forward it's similar to the revival plan but that was the first plan that i read so this plan again is from the terra uh, builders alliance and this has got a lot more detail on it so in the summary, fork the Terra chain into new chain. Again, this is what our good friend uh, Duquana said. Uh, Luna to be airdropped across Luna Classic stakers, Luna Classic holders, residual USD holders, and essential app developers of Terra Classic. TFO wallet will be removed. So this will make Terra fully community-owned chain. This is something that I like. Allocate a large portion of token distribution, providing emergency runaway for existing Terra D apps developers align interests of devs with the long term success of the ecosystem, network security to be incentivized with token inflation, target staking rewards 
and these are people um, the web3 developer mining programs you can see some of the amazing protocols that they're astro port being one of them and this is how the token distribution is suggested to go forward one of the things i want to say is like they are actually focusing more on helping pre investors in luna before all this crash so they're basically trying to help vcs and i can see why investors or newbies like us you know being unhappy because duke one is still trying to help you know the older people or not the older people the whales that invested but in a way without the whales we don't exist if the whales like run away we're gonna we've got no food to eat from do you know what i mean so don't you know there's a saying don't you know cut the hand that feeds you so in a way, we have to support them. And if Duquan needs to support the VC so they can help us a little, it's better than, you know, trying to say, oh, we don't want to give anything to the VCs, only the poor people like us, but then the, there's nothing for us to have. So that is a, like a catch-22, one of the points that lots of new people don't understand of how this VC crypto startups work. So again, same plan. This is what he said, and he's just calling to action, and he's talking about the future. Like Terra should first preserve its L1. So he's going back to L1, like trying to regroup. I don't know if people will buy back, and and like I say now, I'm maybe I am saying some things positive about Luna. That doesn't mean my position. I've shared with you my positions. I've sold it all. I'm not in it. I've taken a loser on Anchor Protocol. I've I got liquidated in one of my uh, Mirror. Um, uh, accounts i've been completely honest i'm not investing in the future yes maybe there'll be lots of time to buy guys you know it's down this much if it starts buying it will give us hundreds of trade setups to buy you know below a dollar below 10 cents so there's no reason to fomo in now and then um, that's my opinion that's how i'm dealing with it so um and, and this is this is a compromise that i like so w lawyer follow him on twitter i've learned a lot from him especially about the ecosystem he's a um i think he's a lawyer so he he does like this restructuring professionals he knows how this type of stuff works and then um, fat man plan uh, which is what i like so he focuses on you know backing a small whale so it's like a, it's, it's kind of like banks you know banks will back you let's say up to like a hundred thousand dollars and maybe more but what he's saying is like back people give the money back to people that have got less than hundred thousand dollars and if it's more than that they still get up to hundred thousand dollars i think that is a fairer way to for token distribution because you know i think 97 percent of ust in anchor protocol is owned by like three percent so you know focusing on the smaller fishes would be really helpful and would be a ethical way of going forward so you know terra ecosystem so i i really like what he said because you know it, most people that's the rich people you know they might lose 10 million but they've got 10 billion it doesn't matter that much the people that i feel the worst is is that people that have put in you know 80 percent of what they or 90 even 100 percent and they've lost their all so they should be the people that first get compensated so fatman's proposal to make the super majority of the usd holders whole up to a maximum of usd fifty thousand per wallet snapshotted at the time of attack i really like that suggestion guys and i think that we should be going forward with that and um this is you know better than what the some of the lots of the other suggestion and, and this helps with helping the people in need first before you know the rich people again so i think whatever proposal we take we need to really take that approach so this is the final approach this is the final revival plan and this is the plan that we'll be going ahead with you know we've seen i've showed you the vote and duke one is will find a way he's you know we we hate his sort of brashness but that is what made him convince millions of people invest in him and build this amazing crazy ecosystem so this is the basically the fork option uh token distribution 25 percent community pool one percent essential developers four four percent essential developers one year cliff and the four year vesting period 35 percent all bonded unbonded lunar minus tfo at pre-attack snapshots there's vesting periods for that as well 10% to Luna holders staking derivatives, including launch snapshot, 10% unlocked at Genesis, 10, 90% vested over two years after. 25% USD holders at the launch snapshot, 10% unlocked at Genesis, rest vested over two year period. So he is still saying he's going to help some USD uh, holders. And I did tweet uh, this morning. If you are like holding, again, this is rough calculations, this might not be accurate. But if you're holding 100K, if you were holding 100K USD, according to this proposal, you should be looking to getting around 2K worth of Luna. Again, it's not that great. It's up to you if you want to still hold in, you know, the dream of getting some. 
potential 2k worth of airdrop are you still holding your ust for that potential pipe dream it's up to you but i'm just sharing with you my thoughts that, that roughly you'd be expect to getting 2k if this proposal goes ahead so that's the proposal guys um these uh they'll be core public infrastructures for wallet gen uh, releasing binary for the launch validators to volunteer declare gen tx and coordinate launch shortly after the launch snapshots uh, community leaders looking to provide oversight over essential dev programs should form a multi-sig to oversee the essential dev allocation and act as a steering community for the new chain and if this goes live i believe by mid or end of june this will be implemented but i think that, that that's what's going to happen so the future of Luna, Luna is going to be forked, there's going to be a new Luna and it will all depend on Luna layer one and it's not going to be straight away, this will take months, years and it might never happen. But you know, I, I tweeted about this, you know, it's people that are writing it off, it could come back, you know, but we've had issues, lots of projects had that issues before and they came, came back stronger. So um, I'm not saying it will, I've not got any money in it, but in the future, you know, if the developers, they come up with another amazing protocol, who knows, they could come back. But am I investing in it now? No. Am I touching it now? No. So uh, just to summarize, is Luna dead? If you are the Luna as we know it, I think that's the best way to put it. The Luna as we know it is definitely dead. Uh, there's few ways forward now. You know, they could just go on a burning craziness or they could fork it, which is looking like the likely option. Those will be the way forward to potentially make Luna come back. Um, so, But for Luna to come back, they would basically have to completely, completely change the model for it to have any chance of coming back. So just to summarize, fork Terra Chain no ust old chain token luna will be called luna classic new chain token will be called luna luna will be airdropped to ust luna classic and luna holders and devs according to the the proposal that i talked to is still not clear i'll probably make another video let me know in the comment section below if you still want me to make luna content with what's and everything's going on i still want to you know there's lots of people just like stopped and deleted their tweets which is really wrong there's a one guy who said i'm going all in luna at 50 dollars and then he just deleted his tweet and there was like comments below saying people followed him and lost money so it's really horrible what they're doing i'm i'm, I'm gonna be here you know even if bitcoin goes to 1k or wherever crypto is my passion this is what i do full time i'll always be here with you guys and like i said my dms is open there's still about i think 20 dms i've not got back to so if you have any questions guys any help you need comment below i'll help you out and you guys can help each other out guys and it, it, what has happened with luna is horrible you know people, some people have taken their lives and you know i, I say this last time uh you know money is in, is important but nothing is important as your health and life so please please don't hurt yourself it's not worth hurting yourself for money or luna or anything in life you know health family they always come first guys so please don't do that and if you need any help dm me or just comment below let's see if we can help each other out so that's the video guys um let me know if you have any questions um my thoughts on luna being dead yeah it is dead could they come back potentially uh, but you know it's long long way away it's too early to invest and too early to call so i'm not putting any money in luna anytime soon if i do i'll let you guys know make sure you subscribe turn on the notification button and all that good stuff i'll make one more video so i'll be releasing a strategy video later in the in the week and then finally our live stream on sunday 7 p.m uk time back to our usual live stream so make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on the notification button and i'll see you guys soon with another great video and before i end the video what is your thoughts on luna do you think luna will come back uh, are you gonna are you still holding luna what is your thoughts on luna going forward comment below your thoughts so thank you very much guys and i'll see you guys soon